In Perth, on September the 14th, 2009, the Chevron-operated Gorgon project was given the official go-ahead when it reached the final investment decision with joint venture participants ExxonMobil and Shell. It paved the way for construction to begin on the largest single resource project in Australia's history. We look back at some of the construction highlights since construction began 12 months ago. From the onset, the Gorgon project establishes a new standard for quarantine management, believed to be the largest non-government quarantine initiative in the world. In December, new joint venture participants Tokyo Gas, Osaka Gas and Chubu Electric Power join the Gorgon project. And Premier Barnett, along with Federal Minister Ferguson, partake in the first sod being turned, marking the official beginning of construction. In the new year, assembly of the Atwood Osprey rig, which will be used to drill production wells, makes giant strides. And Western Australian company Howard Porter embark on the biggest single order in their history, 300 specially made semi-trailers that will be carting construction supplies to Barrow Island. Under a $500 million contract, Australian company Tees and Western Australian subcontractor Deckmill work on site preparation and installing temporary facilities. In April, the MV Finmarkin arrives off the shore of Barrow Island to serve as the marine construction support vessel. Dredging operations begin to create an approach channel, a turning basin and berth pockets for the LNG jetty and the materials offloading facility. Under an $85 million contract, Monodelphus, the Western Australian Engineering Group, undertake managing and operating the construction facilities on Barrow Island. While preparations for the materials offloading facility advance onwards. By July, the Gorgon Supply Base in Henderson is fully operational and employs more than 100 people. And in August, the first shipment arrives of the line pipe that will be used in the horizontal directional drilling, which will bring the gas onshore to Barrow Island under the shoreline to reduce environmental impacts. The initial phase of the Gorgon Village, which is being built by a joint venture of Tees, Decknell and Kents, takes further shape. Once complete, the Gorgon Village will house more than 3,000 of the island's workforce and huge steps are made in developing the LNG site. By October, the $40 million Dampier supply base is now moving more than 2,500 tonnes of freight a week. And Prime Minister Julia Gillard visits Barrow Island to acknowledge the world's biggest carbon capture and storage programme. South of Perth, the Australian marine complex abounds with activity which includes work on 56 caisson structures that will form part of the LNG jetty. By the end of the first year of construction, the Gorgon project has added 1,200 beds to the accommodation facilities at Barrow Island and trained 8,000 people in our quarantine awareness program. It has flown more than 38,000 people and shipped over 100,000 tonnes of freight to Barrow Island and it has committed some $9 billion on local, principally Western Australian, goods and services. And this is just the beginning. For the Gorgon Project, its journey as an emerging Australian icon progresses onwards and on schedule for first gas by 2014.